Okay, something cool that I really wanted to show um, you ladies is this um, this ability to work with your pods and to print them out and also to create like a, a answer key or a master for all the problems. Let's say you created a pod and you don't you've decided you don't want to let them do it online for whatever reason you want to give this to them in class. This is a great way to create worksheets for in class. So I'm going to go to this class here and I am going to click on something that we haven't done yet. Let's say I've decided I want to do this in class and not let them do it online. You can go down here to where it says JunoPod and click Print Master. And you can print this. It takes all the problems you've entered and it gives the uh, students like all the graphics and everything. Um, you get a worksheet and then it turns around and gives you an answer key for each one. And your answers are in this light purple color. And then you can um, print and it will print it out for you just like you see it, which is pretty cool, I think. So you could just print the pages of the um, test however many times you needed to, or just print the whole thing and then make copies of the first two pages. So I think that's pretty cool that we can do that, but then end up with this nice answer key to go with it so we can see what the answer is supposed to be. And I love the fact I've been playing with... Um, We've started graphing, or we will start graphing soon. So I've been playing with number line questions and drawing answers on the number line. It's really neat. Um, all the things that you can do with your Jupiter pods for math. I'm kind of geeked out over it actually. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. It even gives you, uh, gives you the opportunity for them to write their name, the period, and the date on here. So. Uh, and keep then keep it straight but it builds that habit in them also but I think this is really cool um, you can even reshuffle the questions if you want them in a different order so you got key one key two and just puts them in a different order so you can make uh, different um, tests with the problems in a different order so that you could pass out half to this class, you know, to every other student so that they are not able to see the same answers in the same order, be less likely to be able to cheat off of one another. And I think you can do it one more time. Yeah, it'll do key three as well. So you can get three different versions of the same pod in three different orders that will allow you to um, mix it up in the classroom so that they're not able to just look over on the next person's paper which I think is really, really, really neat, obviously. So you could change the text size if you want it bigger. You could change the color if you want it more uh, grayscale. I don't think that did anything. Um, but I think that's pretty cool that you can change the size. For math problems, that's great because then the, the numbers are clear what they are. So I love that. I love this feature. It means you'd use more paper but it depends on um, what you need. So there is an option. And um, also another thing you can do is if you have done it online and, and they've gotten to it, uh, let's pick one. You can click statistics. Oh, well, it's not gonna do one because I, they haven't done it yet. So let's do lesson one. You can go st to statistics down here at the bottom and it will tell you, like I have six students who did the work. Um, six of the, all six of them got this right. It tells you what the right answers were if it was multiple choice and what the wrong answers were. So all six got that right. So you know what the biggest problems are gonna be. You can see who got the most wrong or the problem that had the most wrong just by looking at the statistics. It doesn't tell you who, but it will tell you, okay, we need to work on this problem because I have two people who didn't get it. I think that's kind of nice that you can go back and look at those stats and see exactly where 
um, your students are having problems or the most problem. So if you have a problem where you only got two or three kids that have it right, then that's the one you need to go over in class. So I like that too. And you can print this out as well. So this is a really good tool to have. Um, let's see, there was something else. Oh yes, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but you can click this right here next to the student's name and you can view their individual responses of what they did. And I like to do this because sometimes they might type it in just a little bit wonky and they got the right answer, but maybe they didn't put a space between the number and the fraction. Or they put two spaces between the number and the fraction and you can manually grade that and I'll show you how to do that if you set it back online then it allows it gives you the three dots here it allows you to well first you have to update it let's see no it didn't set offline All right. I think it's because it's past the due date. Let me find one. Yeah, once they turn it in, you can click grade manually. And then it will be, um, you can grade, you can make those changes manually. To something that they just typed it in wonky you can go ahead and click it as correct um, even though they didn't type it in exactly the right way and I'm learning from that too as I type in answers for it to be graded out and automatically I'm learning how to type in multiple acceptable answers for something like for instance on this one go to print master um, Let's see, like for number 19, you can add more acceptable answers. So this one with the period and, and the exponent over, this written out with the exponent, this with the exponent attached to the unit of measure. Those are all the different ways that I'm seeing the girls type it in. So as I see them type it in, um, in that way, I will, if it's an acceptable answer, I will go ahead and add that to all my other answers so that it grades more accurately. And I'm learning how to do that to so that I don't have to grade manually as often. So it'll uh, be easier grading on me to just go ahead and type in those options in the beginning. Um, so again, here and here, all the different ways they could do it. I'm adding them in so that they can um, you know, get it graded correctly as soon as they turn it in. So those are just some thoughts that I've had that I thought you might appreciate to help you with your grading and your worksheets um, and, and all of the schoolwork that we need to keep up with just to make it faster and easier and more streamlined on us. So I hope that helps somebody and I'll uh, see you guys Thursday. Bye.